Welcome to Accurate, the channel of teaching and learning. Accurate, the truth that sets me. We want to take our Bible reading from the book of Galatians chapter 3. From verse 1 to 3. Galatians 3 verse 1 to 3. The word of the Lord reads, O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified. This only I want to learn from, from you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are you now being made perfect by the flesh? May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The title of my message today is Who has bewitched you? Can you look at your neighbor and ask your, ask your neighbor who has bewitched you? Who has bewitched you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Reading from the book of Galatians, a book written by Apostle Paul. He is writing this to a church a church that was in the place of Galatia. And he is saying to them, O oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? That you should not obey the truth. I want you to understand what he's saying here. Before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified. I want to give a bit of a history of what happened in this instance. After the church of Galatia had received Jesus Christ, he had received the gospel of Jesus Christ purely. So here, the church of Galatia had received the gospel, had received Jesus Christ. They really understood and they were happy that finally they had received salvation. And Apostle Paul moved from this place to another place. And he discovered something happened. There were men who came, Jewish men who came into the area. And they started to preach another gospel, which was not the gospel that Paul had preached. Are we together, Paul of God? Amen. And these people, was, they began to be told that, no, the blood of Jesus Christ only cannot save you. If you are not circumcised, remember in the law of Moses, the covenant that God had with Abraham, the father of Israel, was that his sons were supposed to be circumcised. Mm -hmm. Come the coming of the new dispensation when Jesus comes now, he's, after his death, he is now teaching that you are no longer supposed to be saved by the works of, of your hands. Mm. It is no longer the gospel of works. Mm. It is now the gospel of faith in Jesus Christ. Mm. Can somebody say hallelujah? hallelujah? Hallelujah. But what happens now is, after they were told that only by believing in Jesus Christ, confessing him as the Lord and accepting the finished works of the cross, you are saved already. Some men came after and they started to speak to the same church and say, you know what? What Paul taught you was not right. That was wrong. You still need to be circumcised. And they started to believe it. When Paul heard about this, he got very annoyed. He got very angry. And now in this letter he's writing to them. This is why he's saying to them, Oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Are we here, people of God? Amen. Amen. So I want you to see something here. Paul is talking about witchcraft. He's saying, who has bewitched you? He's speaking about witchcraft. So today somebody... I want you to understand that witchcraft is not only what you think. Mm -hmm. Are you together, Paul of God? Amen. What you think is witchcraft is not only that. 
when people hear about a witch, they always think of this woman who wakes up at night mm. and he goes, she goes around uh, or she can travel in the spirit mm. or those witches that travel on the broom mm. and they travel from one place to another, they can enter their, your house even if your house is locked mm. and they can do some things on you. Or those that go to meet in some place and then they start to, to speak words, spells and incantations and curses to cause some people to have misfortune in life. Those are the witches that you people know. Or those that put poison in somebody's food so that the somebody can die. Those are the witches that most people think about. But the Bible today is teaching us that there is another kind of a witch. Mm -hmm. oh. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen? There is another kind of a witch. Say to your neighbor, there is another kind of a witch. There is another kind of a witch. Because if there was no other kind of witch, the Bible would not be telling us that somebody used witchcraft on the church of Galashi. So which, who, what kind of witch are we talking about here? The witchcraft which happened to the church of Galatia was a lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we together? Amen. So somebody who is a liar is a witch. Mm -hmm. Lying is witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me, people of God? Amen. Actually, it is the greatest witchcraft. More than those that will mix up uh, mooties and herbs and things like that. Lie, a liar is the greatest witchcraft. Are we, are we together, people of God? Amen. Amen. I will show you something. What does the Bible say? Okay, where does witchcraft come from? Let me start from there. It comes from the kingdom of darkness. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of darkness, who is the father of it? Is the devil. And what did Jesus say about the devil? He said the devil is a what? Is a liar. Mm. And he is the father of all lies. Mm. Are we together, people of God? Amen. Amen. The Bible did not say he's the father of liars. He says he's the father of lies. Mm. Mm. So which means the devil is a liar. And the devil is the father of witchcraft. Mm. He is the father of witches. Mm. And lying is witchcraft. So when you have somebody who lies in your life, staying next to you, you are staying next to a witch. Yeah. Are we together, people of God? Amen. And I can tell you, I will show you as I am going with this message, how much witchcraft is lying. Because people take lying for easily. You know, people take it, you know, so lightly. And yet you don't know the depth of how much it is in terms of the level of witchcraft. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So he, Paul is saying here, who has bewitched you? Somebody has come. There is a witch that has come and he has put witchcraft on you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So Paul here was not talking about some kind of demon. That came upon these people. He was not talking about some kind of uh, a magical force that is hovering around them. Some kind of spiritual force that was upon them. No, he was not talking about that. The kind of witchcraft here he was talking about is that somebody came and told them something that was not true. Are we together, people of God? Amen. Amen. So, deception is one great witchcraft that is happening today in the house of God. A lot of people, they are believing in things that they heard from people and they did not know that what they were told was not true. Do you know that we have people that wanted to come to this church who did not come to this church because somebody told them something about this church? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know that there's, there's somebody who left this church 
because somebody had told them something that is not true. Mm -hmm. But because they cannot discern between truth and lies, mm -hmm. they believed the lie mm -hmm. and they took an action. Mm -hmm. And yet their answer to their prayers was on this old. Right. Amen. Amen. Are we together, Amen. Amen. You must be careful of what you hear. Yeah. Jesus Christ said, be careful what you hear. Yeah. The devil is the father of lies. Mm -hmm. He is the liar. Mm -hmm. And now he uses his children to spread around lies. Somebody killed somebody right now as I speak because they were told a lie. Mm -hmm. And they got angry with somebody mm -hmm. and they went and killed that person. Somebody right now is no longer talking to somebody who was very good to them because someone lied and spoke a lie and they believed the lie. Am I helping somebody? Amen. 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 Right now, family members don't talk to each other. Brothers and sisters don't talk to each other. Parents and their children, they don't talk to each other. There are wars and battles in families. There are wars and battles in the offices, at the workplace, in governments, in countries, in nations, because someone said a lie. And somebody believed the lie. <coughs> How many people right now don't want to talk to you because somebody lied to them? How many friends have you lost because there was a witch who came between you and your friend and said things to your friend, things that you never said, and your friend decided to believe it? Are we together, people of God? Amen. Amen. Who has bewitched you? Eh? That you should not obey the truth. So the moment somebody comes and says something to you that causes you not to believe the truth and instead you believe a lie, it means witchcraft has worked on you. So you are being bewitched every day. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, you are being bewitched every day. You are being bewitched every day. Mm. Are we together, people of God? Amen. Amen. Every day somebody is bewitching you. And you are buying lunch to, to that person every day, thinking that it's your friend. And yet they are lying. How many marriages have broken down because of these witches? Jesus. They will go around saying, you know, she's my friend, but she's got a boyfriend. Ask me, I'm the best friend. Mm -hmm. She has got a boyfriend. She tells this person. She tells those ones. She until it gets into the ear of the husband. Mm -hmm. And the husband now is fighting the wife. The husband is pushing the wife away. The marriage breaks down. Children begin to suffer. Yeah, properties get destroyed. People are fighting. Just because somebody spoke something that was not true. And it is a witch. That is what that. Can you see how deep lying is? Yeah. Mm. It can destroy countries, it can destroy nations, it can destroy families, it can destroy good things. It stops progress. Yeah. Are we together, bro? Amen. Amen. It's you know, you you you, you think witchcraft. That witch who, who is flying at night and riding on a broom is better than the one who lies. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. Because the one who lies, you trust him. Yeah. Yeah. You keep him close. Mm. He lies that he is your friend, yet mm. he is not. Hey. Hey. He pretends to be your friend, yet he is your greatest mm. enemy. Mm. Mm. Your secrets that you think are secrets are now public secrets because every secret that you tell them is out there. Everyone is just looking at you and say, oh, oh, oh. she's still walking with that majestic oak. We know everything about you. Yes. 
Why? Because a witch who is pretending to be your friend is the one you are spending time with, mm. eat, drinking with, eating with, uh, uh, sharing stories with, and they are carrying every secret and spreading it all around the people around you. Mm. So you are naked in the eyes of people, mm. yet you think you are safe. Jesus. Is that not witchcraft? Mm. Mm. We are talking about liars. People who lie. Are we together, bro? Amen. Amen. These are the people who hug you. Mm -hmm. After you are beaten by the husband, you run to their house. They are the first to say, come. Oh, you know what? This world is evil. Why do bad things happen to good people? You know what, my friend? I will stand with you. Yet they are the ones that have caused that fight. Mm -hmm. Only that you don't know. Oh. Tell me, if you had been given the grace to know everybody that has caused the problem in your life, you will be shocked to find that the same people that look like they are comforting you in your problems are the ones that caused it. Mm. How would you feel? Mm. I hope I'm speaking to somebody. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. So Paul is speaking to the church of Galatia and he gave them a solution. And he said, the only solution, I do not want to come and deliver you. That church of Galatia did not want any exorcism. When I'm talking about exorcism, I'm talking about casting out demons from them. When he says you have been bewitched, it does not mean that there is a devil or a demon that entered them. No, they, are, they don't have any demon. Mm. They don't manifest any demon. Mm. But there is witchcraft on them. Yeah. So where is the witchcraft? So when Paul is coming, after the Galatian church has been bewitched, he does not come to lay hands on them mm -hmm. and say, out, out, out. Mm. If you do that, it will not come out. Mm. What has happened to them will not come out because it's not a spirit that has entered them. So the deliverance that is needed to this church of Galatia is a different kind of deliverance oh, yes. because the kind of witchcraft that has happened to them is also a different kind of witchcraft. Mm. There is a different form of a witch that came there. Mm. 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 So how do you deliver them? You deliver them by reminding them the truth yes. mm. and they must decide to believe the truth. Okay. Mm. Many people are leaving the church and going back into the world because there are witches that they associate with. Mm. And those witches will be telling them that, ah, <laughs> uh, you're still believing these church things. Ah, uh, yeah, you will change. Yeah. Mm. Some of us, we were there. Let me, let, you, you see me? I was an elder yeah. for 15 years mm. in church. I saw. Mm. <sighs> but I've left that. Yeah. It doesn't work. Yeah. I'm telling you, my friend. And you believe the lie. Nice. See, the problem that the Church of Galatia did was when the lie was spoken, they believed the lie. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you. This is how it works. What comes first is the lie. Yeah. Then the lie does not become deception. The lie is not deception. Mm -hmm. It only becomes deception after you believe the lie. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a lie that you have believed mm -hmm. becomes deception. Okay. You are now bewitched the moment you believe the lie. Mm -hmm. When the lie comes, you still have a chance of stopping the lie. Yeah. And close your door. Mm -hmm before it becomes witchcraft on you. Mm -hmm. It only be begins to work as witchcraft on you if you believe it. Okay. The moment you believe it, where does it go? It goes straight to your mind. Because what the devil is trying to do here, he's trying to play around with your mind. Mm -hmm. He's trying to manipulate your mind. Mm -hmm. 
That is what he is after. Mm. Because the moment he, cha he changes your thinking, he has changed you. Mm. Are you hearing me, people? Amen. Amen. You are a product of your thoughts. Yes. Your life is exactly according to how you think. Mm. If you think in a wrong way, your life will go a wrong way. Mm. If you think positively, your life will go positive. Amen. Some of us here, we are in bondages of our minds and our thoughts. Even after the man of God has declared that it is a season of your restoration, pray for restoration, the Lord will restore you. Somebody will speak, a witch will speak in your mind and say, oh, what restoration is there's nothing that will ever change yeah. mm. then there are two voices now that are speaking in you the voice of god mm. that is saying it is a season of your restoration and another voice that is saying nothing will ever change mm. just look back for how long have you been suffering and then you think today because this man is said now your life is changing then your life will change it won't happen now you are in between the two words that have been spoken from the left and from the right. But which one do you decide to believe? Mm. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. Amen. The one you decide to believe, your life will go in that direction. Mm. Are we together, Paul? Amen. Amen. If you decide to believe the word of God, the Bible says God is not a liar. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Yeah. But if you decide to say God is a liar, then the word of God will never work for you. Mm. You can come here in church and hear, I can preach for, the, for 24 hours a day to you. That word will never change your life. Mm. The word can only begin to change your life the moment your mind decides to believe it. Yes. This is why the devil brings the lie. Mm. Because he's also trying to win your mind. Mm. Because he knows that once your mind agrees with a word, whether it is of the light or it is of darkness, your life will go in the direction of your beliefs. Yeah. So many of us right now, we have been blessed already. The Bible actually says, God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings mm -hmm. that are in the heavenly places. Yes. But do you believe it? Just ask your neighbor, do you believe that? Do you believe that? Ask your neighbor, do you believe you are blessed? Do you believe you are blessed? Ask your neighbor, just say to your neighbor, look at your shoes. Look at your shoes. Do you think you are blessed? Do you think you are blessed? Because if somebody looks at their shoes, ah, then they will say, no, I'm not blessed. Are we together, people of God? Amen. I've heard that women, when they, want, when they are looking at smartness, they start to look at the shoe. Is it true? Yeah. I don't know what the shoes I don't know what the shoes do, but shoes just go on the ground anyway. <laughs> How did they start to look at the shoe first? I don't know what is what is to do with the shoe. Are we together, problem? Amen. Amen. When somebody looks at their shoe, or when somebody opens their wardrobe at their house, when somebody looks at their blankets, when somebody looks at their house, when somebody looks or opens their fridge or their cupboard in the kitchen and they look at what they have. Do you know that these things can speak to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can speak to you and start to say, just look at you. Yeah. Just look at you. <laughs> but the things that the one who will be speaking are not your plates. Yeah. The one who is speaking is not your shoes. Yeah. The one who is speaking is not those two dresses in your wardrobe. No. The one who is speaking is the father of life. Yeah. yeah. He is trying to slowly bring witchcraft now yes. into you mm. and say, look at yourself. Yeah. Do you think this word which means, which says you are blessed with all blessings is true? Yeah. And then yourself, you start to look at that word. Mm. And then you look at the two dresses. Mm. And then you say, you say to yourself, no ways. Yeah. I'm not blessed. Mm. Once you agree and say, I am not blessed, you have gone against the word of God mm. who is the truth yes. Yeah. yes and you have decided to believe the lie mm. which means now you have given power to witchcraft mm. 
Now witchcraft has authority over you now. Yeah. So you don't need your old Magogo or your old aunt or Malume in the village there to go to a sango mind with bewitch you. No, you are the witch yourself. Mm. Ask your neighbor, who has bewitched you? Who has bewitched you? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? <laughs> I'm telling you because some people are getting into prayer and binding and binding and bind and bind and bind. Yet there is not even one witch who is working on you. But the witchcraft that is working on you is right up there. What you are believing, do you believe in the word of God? Do you believe in the promises of God? If the Bible says you are blessed, do you believe you are blessed? Mm -hmm. If the Bible says you are healed, do you believe that you are healed? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, people of God. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. So when a lie comes and you believe the lie, it becomes deception. When it becomes deception, it becomes a prison. Mm -hmm. You are now oppressed. Mm -hmm. There are people that are in what is called mental oppression. It's their mind that is keeping them in prison. Mm -hmm. Nobody is putting them in prison. It's their own. And the devil knows the power of mental oppression. Once you are mentally oppressed, once you, the devil is playing kwasa kwasa in your mind, I am telling you, your life will not go anywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need to start to think about yourself in a different way. Amen. Paul says, I beseech you, brethren, mm -hmm. that do not be what? Conformed to the standards of this world, mm -hmm. but rather be transformed mm -hmm. by the renewal of your mind. Mm -hmm. The moment you come to Christ, you are born again, you are a child of God, you need to begin to change your thinking patterns. Amen. Start to see yourself as a blessed woman. Mm. Start to see yourself as a blessed man. Yeah. Don't care about the, the environment, the things that you are looking around because the Bible says we do not walk by sight. Yes. We walk by faith. Mm. Don't use your eyes to judge your life. Mm. Otherwise you are judging wrongly yeah. because your life is in the spirit. Yeah. Life is spiritual. Yeah. So what is in the physical is not true about you. Amen. Tell your neighbor, what is in the physical is not true about you. What is in the physical is not true about you. Do you know that there are some people who are laughing at a woman who has only one dress and say, hey, you mean that woman of that black dress? Ah, that one oh, is very poor. Not knowing that that woman is so rich. Yes. Because they are concluding according to their natural eyes. Oh, yes. And yet, the riches of this woman are in the spirit. Mm. If this woman begins to do things in the right way, mm. you and then the transference of her, her riches from the spirit happen, they will never be able even to greet that woman. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I hope I'm speaking to somebody. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. So there is deliverance that must happen to the believer of today, which does not need the laying of hands. Okay. What is needed is information. Mm. Can somebody say information? Information. information. Yeah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Casting out demons is very fast. It's quick. It doesn't take time. Yeah. You can somebody can come here where it's got a demon or two demons. I can just say out in Jesus' name, they are gone. Mm. But there is something that is difficult. That does not go easy. Mm. That one is called the demon of the mind. Yeah. <laughs> That's why the Bible talks about sanctification. Mm -hmm. That one is the one that is called sanctification. When we come to God, we can be delivered quickly, even in one day. Mm -hmm. Demons are gone. Mm -hmm. But then, the one that is the longest, which will take the longest time, it is the deliverance of the mind. Right. Mm. And that one needs time. Mm. Are you with me, people of God? Amen. This is why Jesus Christ, in his ministry, right, he took three years teaching and preaching to people. 
And then he took only a few hours to die on the cross. Dying on the cross was for the physical. Yes. But the teaching was the spiritual. He was dealing with the minds of All people. Right. Okay. Okay. To change the way people think, mm. it needed three years. Mm. But for people to enter heaven, for him to die for them, oh, simple. Yeah. It just needed a few hours to die on the cross. It's done. Mm. And he says it is finished. Yes. Mm. Can you see this? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is where the war is because the devil now knows that the most important area is that a believer must change the way he thinks. Yes. Yeah. So I must make sure that he does not change. Mm. The believer must continue to think like the people of the world. The believer must continue to think like the drunkard. Mm. Must continue to think like the prostitute. Mm. Like continue to think like the fornicator. Yeah. Must continue to think like a thief. Must continue to think like a womanizer. Yeah. Must continue to think like that barbarian. Mm. I went to get a plug. Amen. Amen. So it is a war that you must fight. Mm. Can somebody say it's a war that I must fight? It's, it's a, a war, war that, that I must fight. fight. Be careful the things that are getting into your ear. Amen. Some of the information that is getting in your ear is the one that is causing your life to be what it is today. Mm. The words that you are listening, that are spoken right in your mind, in your heart, and some that are coming out of some dirty mouths of some dirty people around you, they are the ones that are causing you to be where you are today. Mm. Your life could be very far if you are not listening to wrong people. Whose voice do you believe? Mm. So for you now, to have demons out of you is very fast. You can cast out devils out of you, but you cannot cast you out of you. Oh, yes. Mm. Are we together? Amen. You can cast out devils quickly out of you, but you cannot cast you out of you. Mm. Because the other enemy now that is left is you. Yes. That one does not go easy. Yeah. That one will stand and will fight. Mm -hmm. That one needs the word of God. Mm -hmm. This word of God that you are listening to every day as you are sitting down. This is why we continue to say, come to church, come to church, mm -hmm. come. Because you need to sit down and receive the word. As the word is entering into your mind and into your soul, into your spirit. It is cleaning the mind of the devil. The mind of the world yeah. is being washed out yeah. by the living word of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Then it will cause you to start to have a mind of Christ, mm. which is the mind of word of yeah. the word of God, mm. which is the mind of faith. Yeah. When you now have faith, it is not easy for the devil to win over you. Oh, yes. Amen. Yeah. Are we together, people of God? Amen. Amen. Your life is a product of your thoughts. Mm. You need to come out of the prison of how you think and think exactly as Jesus thinks. Mm. Before you accept advice from people, you need first of all to measure, to weigh that advice mm. in accordance to the word of God. Mm. What this one who calls a friend of mine mm. is saying, what this one who calls themselves the closest workmate of mine at work, mm. this one who calls themselves the very best neighbor of mine, mm. this one that I walk around with every day, before I take what he is saying to me, I need to first of all measure it with the word of God. Yes. Does the Bible, the word of God, agree with the things that this man or this woman is saying to me? If you find that it is contrary, it is against the word of God, don't take it. A lot of people are just gullible. A lot of people are just like dumping sites. You know dumping sites? Where the council, the municipality, they come and collect all the beans. When they collect all the beans, there is a place where they go to dump everything. And it's <gasps> smelling. You go there, you find all kinds of animals and 
flies and all kind of bugs. You find every every disease you find it there. Mm -hmm. Some of us, our minds are like dumping sites. Yeah. Because we are allowing everyone who has got his own rubbish bin to come and dump into your mind. Mm -hmm. And you receive it. And you accept it. And you accept it. This is the danger that we are having today of the power of deception. The devil now has entered the pulpit. He is now standing on the pulpit. And he is now deceiving people right inside the church. Causing people of God to begin to think otherwise. By believing wrong teachings and wrong doctrines. Paul calls them the doctrines of demons. Imagine if demons come up with their own doctrines that they are coming to dish in places that are called churches to people who are called believers. And they are saying, Amen, men of God. Yet they are agreeing to doctrines of demons. And where doctrines of demons are taught, that is where they like. And even the devil sends many people there. It's easy to love a church that does not teach the truth if you are not really having the Spirit of yeah. God. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm telling you, oh, and yes. many people don't have the Spirit of God. Mm. That's why it's easy for them to follow wrong te teachings and wrong doctrines and churches of, 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 mm. of, of these uh, teachings that are coming from the pit of hell. Yes. Yes, How many times have you asked yourself, ha, you look even on social media, you find it, look at what this pastor did in church. Like there's one pastor that is in, in Cape Town there. He puts on dresses like a woman. In church. He puts on lipstick. And he trims his, 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 his eyelashes. He puts on his stiletto and comes into church. Amen. And people are saying, hey, amen, amen. You know that? Every you say, hey, what's wrong with us? There's one pastor who, who, who washes women right in church. She, he puts a bucket here. Women who come and undress and he washes their body one by one in church. And even men will be there say, Oh, amen. Go deeper, men of God. What is wrong with us? A man of God is found sleeping with his somebody's wife and he's, he's caught and he's embarrassed in the whole location mm. go to his church on Sunday if they were 100, they are now 200 hey. what is wrong with us? <laughs> and then you, you'll be thinking ah, next Sunday the church will be empty you'll be very disappointed mm. Mm. one man of God who was caught recently a big thief who is stealing. I thought the next Sunday, I went to his channel to check on the next Sunday service. I wanted, I found that oh, those chairs that used to be empty are full. Yes. Hey, be careful. Don't just follow people. Don't just follow people nowadays. Mm. And you think, yeah. well, there are many people, that's yes. where God is. Yeah. It's a lie. Hey. It's a lie. In these very last days, God is even hiding himself yeah. in the places that you will never think there is God. Amen. Amen. And the devil is out there. And the devil does not stop money in those churches. He pushes money into that church. He causes those people to give money. The, the pastor has got a private church and he's got what what and he's got businesses and he's got cars that say good morning say to him. Yeah. And people think that is godliness. It's not godliness at all. It's far from godliness. Don't measure godliness according to the wealth of this world. Are we together, people of God? Amen. So I am saying, people of God, the Bible says, resist, the, submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. James chapter 4, verse 7. He needs to be resisted. When he is speaking into your mind, you must tell him, get devil, get thee behind me. Don't just keep quiet when bad advices are coming. 
Stupid thoughts are coming into your mind and you are just smiling. <laughs> Every day somebody's wife passes by your window and some, something says to you, just open the curtain and look at her back. And you are doing that every day. Hey. 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 <laughs> Tomorrow again. Hey. Hey. Jesus. You are allowing witchcraft to work on you. You must tell that devil the next time she passes by and that voice say, hey, she has passed, go and look and say, get thee behind me, Satan. If you don't fight these battles, I am telling you, this is why you find yourself fallen into things that you never imagined. People are falling into things that they never thought they could ever be. Mm. Why? Because they are letting their minds to be loose. Mm. And the devil is just pushing them any direction. Mm. Am I speaking to you somebody? Amen. Amen. Resist the devil Amen. and he will flee from you. Mm. Submit to God. Mm. And how do we submit to God? Submission to God means we must live a holy life. Mm. We must live the life of the word. Amen. We must read the word. Mm -hmm. We must be prayerful. Yes. We must do the word. Amen. That is submitting to God. And the devil, when he sees you doing that, he will flee from you. Mm -hmm. He will never want to play closer to you. Yeah. When you see the devil playing too much around you, there are things that you are not doing, mm -hmm. which you are supposed to do, mm -hmm. which causes him to go away. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about the armor of God. Mm -hmm. On the armor of God is the greatest spiritual battle. Yes. And when you look at it, it's fighting deception mm -hmm. more than it is fi fighting flying witches. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it talks about the, the what? The helmet yeah. of salvation mm -hmm. that you must protect your mind. Yeah. That nobody must just come and put things in your head. Yes. So you must have a helmet yeah. to protect it. Mm. He talks about the shield of faith. Mm. The purpose of the shield is to protect whatever is coming from the enemy. Mm. When he is bringing his lies, he has a, have a, field, a shield of faith mm. that you block the fiery darts of the enemy. Mm. Yeah. When the Bible is talking about what is blocked by the, by the shield of faith, the fiery darts are actually words yes. that are of deception, of mm. lies mm. that are being brought to you. Mm. You must stop them from far. Amen. Then you have a sword of the word of God. Mm. That is the word that the sword that you use to kill that enemy. Yeah. So you can only kill the enemy with the sword of the word, meaning that you need to hear the word. You need to obey the word. You need to do the word. Mm. You need to practice the word. Mm. You need to live upon the foundation of the word of God. Mm. Who has bewitched you? Mm. Are you sure that there is somebody who has bewitched you? Mm. Or you are your own witch? Yeah. Or you are allowing a witch or a witch staying in your mind? Mm. Because every time that you obey his word, he stays there longer. Yeah. Are we together, people of God? Yeah. Ask your neighbor who has bewitched you. Who has bewitched you? So, as I am finishing, somebody today, because of this message, mm. you are being taken out of that witchcraft. Amen. Amen. Somebody is coming out of that witchcraft. Amen. Amen. Somebody is being set free right now out of the prison of your mind in the name of Jesus. Amen. That oppression of the devil mm. that has been causing you to think that you are nothing, yeah. you will do nothing, yeah. you will never accomplish it, yeah. you will never be married, yeah. you will never start a business, yeah. you will never have money, yeah. you will never have your own children. Yeah. It is a lie of the devil yeah. and he is a liar and he is the father of all lies. I want somebody to begin to pray and say, Father, keep me big against every word of the devil, against every every deception, that I may begin to believe in what you speak and what you say. Trust in your word. Somebody begin to pray. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord deliver you from every mental oppression, from every witness of deception. In the name of Jesus.